Now, while I've been delightedly playing Dune Spice Wars, harvesting melange, and trying to figure out how to pronounce quest, quisats, how to it doesn't matter, I'm equally ready to turn hordes of Tyranids into a Jackson Pollock painting in Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. In this brutal third-person shooter, you once again step into the oversized power armor of Titus, an elite Primaris Space Marine, in a galaxy immersed in a never-ending war. To take us further inside the grim dark, I am joined by Tim Willits and Oliver Hollis, the creative director, on Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. First of all, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. Now, Tim, I want to start with you. You previously worked at id Software on Doom. How would you say the Space Marine compares to Doom Guy? Mm, that is a good question. Uh, I bet many people do not know that the original Doom Guy was actually a Space Marine, inspired by an even older Space Marine, which is the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines. So, you know, it's really exciting for, for me to work on and Space Marine 2, you know, because it's a great franchise and I know that it's inspired so many other video games throughout the last 25, 30 years. Oh, oh, absolutely. And there's so much lore to sift through. And I think this brings us to talk a little bit about the new Space Marine that you're going to get to play, a Primaris Space Marine. Oliver, talk to us a little bit about Captain Titus and what makes this class of Space Marine different from the others in the universe. So the Space Marine is, is a, a brainchild of the Emperor, uh, the kind of leader of this uh, of humanity in, in the grim dark future. He saw the dangers that the universe presented and he created a, a super soldier from his own DNA. And each of these different factions, these different chapters have different genetic traits of the Emperor. But what makes the Primaris different is that uh, a guy named Belisarius Kor, uh, the Emperor's kind of chief scientist, went back, did some digging in the old uh, data and found a way to enhance the, the qualities that a Space Marine has by installing new devices, new kind of bio implants in their body. So now these guys are two and a half meter tall monsters capable of destroying anything in their path. It's reminding me of the thousand times I have rewatched the Astartes animation. That's it's amazing. It's so exciting. Mm. It's so exciting that we now get to be in that position to play that kind of character. And in the trailer, we saw a lot of Tyranids. Are they the main enemy that you're going to be against? And if so, what makes them such a compelling foe? In this particular game, the Tyranids are the main focus. And what makes them compelling is that they are extra galactic uh, locust-like creatures. They, they've come in from goodness knows where. They spread like wildfire. They devour everything in their path and they leave nothing in their wake. So one of the great things about the Tyranids is they come in the thousands. And our uh, proprietary engine, the Saber Swarm engine, can, can deliver these epic battles. Now we will have thousands of Tyranids oh. uh, and you will rip and tear through them all. I mean, that is so thrilling because this is the sort of thing that older games couldn't even hope to do. And you're talking a little bit about combat. I know that some of the previous entries were more melee focused. What's the combat like in Space Marine 2? So the combat in Space Marine 2 is a mix of in-your-face melee combat along with some really cool over-the-top weapons. So, um, you know, we, we, we looked at, you know, the original Space Marine game where, they, where uh, it had a lot of this push-forward combat, which has inspired many other video games, but, uh, but that never stop, never take cover combat is integral to Space Marine 2, along with, you know, these, these really cool, powerful weapons. So you, you're either tearing up the enemies in front of you or you're blowing them away from uh, the back of the battlefield. It's, uh, it's, it's the best of both worlds. I mean, that sounds so terrific. And I mean, I know you guys are huge fans of the 40K lore. So I'm curious about in working on this project, what's been the most fun seeing come together? I mean, what's Saber Interactive focusing on right now? Right at the beginning of the project, uh, Tim and I went to the Warhammer Museum, which was an incredible experience. And you go around all these cabinets where these incredible miniatures that have been painted by these masters are arranged in these dioramas. You find yourself kind of crouching down and looking into the ranks of, of space marines that are facing Tyranids or Orcs or whatever. And something that Tim and I said at, at that moment was, we need to make this come alive. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look at this, I want to be inside this. I want to be gunning down Tyranids by the thousands. And so seeing that actually happen and come alive has been thrilling. Am I going to feel like the characters in the Astartes animation? Because if so, then I'm buying the game immediately. <laughs> Even more so, when, when you're wielding one of those massive weapons and you're faced with a thousand Tyranids who all want to eat you alive, and you're just letting rip and you can see shell casings bursting out of these massive weapons one after another, 
the sound, the gameplay, the way it feels is all designed to make you feel like the most powerful warrior in the universe. Well, perfect. That answers everything. Thank you so much, Tim and Oliver from Saber Interactive for joining us. I can't wait. Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2 comes to PC, PS5, Xbox Series X and S soon.